Hi there, it's Karen at Quarry Paper Crafts here, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Central Scotland. Welcome back to another project and today it's this one here. It's a slider box which contains a four finger Kit Kat biscuit. Nice and quick and easy to make. This is my customer thank you gift this month. Um, and I'm going to show you how I made it. I used one of our new in colours. This is just jade, um, the cardstock and the ribbon. And this is a piece of designer series paper from one of our new packs of paper. And I think it's yeah, called Forever Greenery. Um, I've shown this in a previous video, but I'll just give you a quick look through really pretty papers these are launching in the new annual catalogue which launches tomorrow as you're seeing this video you should be seeing this video on tuesday the 2nd of june and the catalogue launches tomorrow wednesday the 3rd of june so lots of really pretty nice things coming um, and I'm quite excited to get going with a few of them. So I'm using a different sheet of paper to show you how I made the box this time but still from that same pack of paper and I decorated the, the sentiment on the front with one of the Just Jade um, enamel dots from the new In Colour enamel dots um, as well. So I'm going to pop this to the side and I'm going to show you what you need first of all to make your slider so you'll need a piece of cardstock which measures six and three quarter inches by four and three eighths then you're going to need two panels of designer series paper um i'm starting to wonder if they're the right way up now yep uh, they are two and a half inches by three and three quarters and a piece of scrap for your stamping for your sentiment so the first thing we need to do is a little bit of scoring so i'll grab my scoring tool and I'm hoping that with it being still quite light this evening I'm not going to get any glare from my lamp so hopefully that will be the case and you're not getting glare here now from the window <laughs> so you're going to score on the long side at two and five eighths three and one eighth five and three quarters and six and a quarter and then we're going to spin it round and score it on the short side at one half of an inch and that's it so as always we're going to fold and burnish on all these score lines and apologies if you can hear the neighbours kids out playing we've got the window open because it's absolutely roasting here in Scotland at the minute um, it's not to be so nice tomorrow mind you but we're making the most of having the, the hot weather tonight um, and then I'm going to do a little bit of cutting So as you can see either this way or this way you've got this half inch section here and then another half inch section. So these are the front and back panels and these are the side panels of the box but this is the section that's going to join my box together so as always I need to remove this little square that's on the bottom corner here and just angle that a little bit and the same at the top. And there we go and then I'm just going to cut up these little smaller squares on the bottom and just wedge them both very slightly just like that come out come out that's it and wedge here ever so slightly as well there we go so what you're left with is something that looks like that and i'm just going to pop this lamp back on now that i've got the scoring board out of the way so i just need to add my two pieces of designer series paper to these larger panels here before i join my box together and i'm just going to quickly do that using snail just round the edges And just try and get those corners to make sure that they 
they stay stuck down, get rid of the snail that I've put on my grid paper and just try and line that up as best I can, making sure that it's got an even border all the way around, that looks okay. And the same with this piece here. Looks like it's not just glue that I managed to get everywhere, I'm certainly managed, managing to get the snail everywhere tonight. The good thing about snail is it just rubs off. It is going though, um, I'm not sure what way around that is. It is going when the new catalogue comes out, Stamping Up are getting rid of snail but panic not because we're getting something bigger and better in its place quite literally um, we're getting a, a very similar reel but um, oh I can't remember what it's called now but there's one equivalent to the snail but there's going to be more on each roll and there's also going to be um, a new one that's sort of equivalent to the um, fast fuse that we used to have as well. Gosh, I couldn't get those words out there. That was that was hard work. <laughs> so I'm just putting a piece of tape along that strip for joining my box together and the front panel that goes over last is always between those two little shoulders that are just going to tuck inside the box once it's put together. And then before I do anything else I need to punch these two holes here for the ribbon to come through just in the center of here and to do that I'm going to use my trio punch and it's this little hole here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up the center of each of these panels with this groove here more or less doing it by eye but what I'm looking for is an equal um, gap either side of here so I just want to make sure that I've got the same amount of this panel at either side of here before I, I think that's about it there before I press it down so that's the first hole made there and then I'm just going to do the same again on this panel here and I think I've just moved my grid paper as well so with the measurements on this box it actually lines up fairly well I don't know if you can see this but the score lines on either side fit up against the corners on these little shoulders here so actually it's quite a good guide for making sure that you've got your panel in the middle it doesn't have to be perfect and that's that hole punched as well so now I can go ahead and put my box together so I'm just gonna make sure I don't have any tape overlapping top and bottom just bring it over from that second score line and join it together like that and then I'm just gonna pop my side bits in and the back panel over and then it's just the front panel that's left to come over oops last and again I'm just going to make sure that I fold that over keep my box straight just before I give it that final press down just to keep it as square as possible there we are and because these are my seams, my joins, that's the back of the box and this is the front of my box here. Okay, so I'm going to grab my uh, piece of linen thread um, and this is an older card of linen thread and my Just Jade ribbon and I'm just going to roughly measure about that much so maybe just a little bit more than I need but I don't want to be short so all I'm going to do is pop my ribbon through from the back 
to the front so that I've got an even amount on either side and I'm just gonna oops line these ends up roughly to make sure I've got enough so what I'm looking for is having a bit of ribbon across there I'm going to grab my Kit Kat and I'm going to pop that into the box on top of that ribbon and push it in and let it take the ribbon down with it like so and then I'm just going to pop the frilly ends of the packet in so that it keeps it a little bit neater pull this a little bit tighter and grab my linen thread and basically tie it in a knot this is where you need about five hands but they're fairly easy to work with they're not particularly slippy either of these ribbons and I'm just going to tie this in a bow I can tighten it up after I'm finished and I'll show you how to do that just in a second bring my loop through and tie it into the size of bow I want which is roughly that size there so I'm just going to pull these tails down a little bit maybe make that loop a little bit bigger and then I'm going to just pull these tails and that will tighten the knot push it down a little bit and it will also give me a bit of a v-shape um, on my ribbon there so what I'm going to do is just tidy that up a little bit like so maybe take another bit off of there that's it and then just a little bit of stamping to finish it off um, I think I'll just trim these tails a little bit so that they're roughly the same length there's no real science to it so the stamp set I used is the Peaceful Moments Kling stamp set and I used the thank you here. It's a Kling as in red rubber and I've already got my stamp mounted on a block. So I'll pop that out of the way and bring in my stamp here. And I'm just going to stamp it in Memento ink. So I'll bring in my white, Whisper White cardstock and cut my stamp. There we are, and stamp that down about there. I'm quite happy with that. And then I used the um, tailored tag punch, this one here, which I'm starting to like more than I did when I first got it. And I'm just going to centre that thank you as much as I can. So probably about, probably about, about there, there we are, and if you've got any rough little bits that have lifted at the edges after you've punched, just take your paper folder or your bone folder round the edges and that will flatten it down again, a little rough bit on there though, so just trim that away and then my 2020 to 2022 um, in colour enamel dots I just picked off one of the Just Jade oh, that's got a little bit of glue sticking out so I'll not use that one and just popped it here, here on the bottom oh Oh, that's gone a bit wonky, so let's try again with another one. That's not so good, that didn't, that didn't want to go, so let's try again with another one. And there we go, pop that down, just like that. Now that's not good, these are not, these are not wanting to... So I'm not wanting to stick, I think, because of the heat, they've got a bit, uh, a bit detached. So I'm hoping this time that it won't stick to my finger. There we are. Although, oh for goodness sake, this is not, 
works are not going well at all. Um, let's see, so that's three now. Let's have a look and see if it's going to work if I use my take a pick tool instead. But I think it's the heat that's made them come unstuck. There we are. There we are. Gosh, I thought thought that wasn't going to work for a minute there. <laughs> and then I just pop some dimensionals on the back. And because they're going in the post, I just made sure I put plenty dimensionals on. As I've said in a video before, I don't scrimp with my dimensionals on my projects. They don't cost that much. So I tend to be frugal or economic rather than frugal, but with dimensionals, I'll just use however many I need to use. So just ignoring the little fuzzy bit that I've got now because uh, the first three didn't stick. I'm just going to pop that in the middle of my box and there it is there. So that's two of my thank you gifts or maybe one. I'll probably have to change that sentiment. Um, quick and easy, just like that. I'm really liking these colours and I like both of these papers. I can't decide between the two. Um, and I think the, the linen thread just sets it off really nicely. And it's just a fun way of gifting what would normally be a biscuit that you would have with a cup of tea. And it just makes it look a little bit more exciting. So thanks for sticking with me to the end through all the disasters with my um, my dots. I'll see if I can pop them back together. Um, we're in the last few days as well, just to remind you of our um, fundraising COVID-19 uh, downloadable PDF so if you were looking to get that you've only got maybe a couple of days left to be able to buy that too I'll still pop a link to it in the, the description bar below this video um, if you haven't already subscribed and you've just found my channel then I would love you to subscribe as well give me a thumbs up if you did like the video um, and hopefully you'll make one of your own as well um, I guess this would fit lots of different kinds of sweeties or um, it could be adjusted a little bit even to fit a, an ink pad. Um, let's just see. Yeah, you could make you could make that a different size and and make it for an ink pad as well. So thanks for watching. Um, take care, stay safe, and I hope to see you again very soon. Bye bye.